Good afternoon. It is 2.10 on Tuesday. It is 26 with the Humidex today. It's very, very nice out. <sighs> and I have been in this car all damn day. <laughs> Cannot wait to get out of it. I have taken Monkey to the orthodontist where all they did was adjust his top braces after having those teeth pulled and that's all they did. I was very disappointed, <laughs> but whatever. I think his next appointment is in August, October, something like that. And then I took him for lunch because we had some time to kill. I thought we were going to be rushed. He had an appointment at the foot doctor. I can't think of what they're called. The foot doctor. Um, because we have been in mad hard battle with the planner's work for like a year. <laughs> and I, I called uncle. That's it. I caved. And uh, had to have somebody professional look at it. And uh an appointment cost me 80 bucks but money well spent in my opinion um, he had developed a, a great big callus over this over this ward which is what I thought it was but we'd put so much medication on here on his where the wart was and I was using those compound W pads and then putting the gel in the pad as well and then duct taping that bitch on. <laughs> I think you can leave them on for like two or three days and then you change them out and whatever. Um, but yeah, his, his foot was just 30 shades of screwed up. So for the last, I don't know, month or so, I said, just leave it, let it, let it calm down and we'll have to go and have somebody look at it because I knew, I knew that the skin over top had to be removed because you couldn't see anything anymore, but I wasn't about to do it. So he shaved all that off. He's like, you, you really can't. I mean, he says, I I'm pretty sure that it's done. He said, but to get the pads and, and the gel and just do give it, I don't know, a few days extra treatment just to be sure but he said it'll work better now that all that extra skin has been removed and he and monkey says it feels so much better I said I like that but he also said to stop wearing socks because his whole foot is peeling and he said that that is from excess moisture and you don't want to get a fungus so I was like yeah no no more. <laughs> Just take those damn socks off. I dug his slides out when we got home. And, uh, yeah, so that's been handled, thank goodness. I also made an appointment for myself over there. Um, they don't just do feet there. They do physiotherapy and all kinds of stuff. So I've been having shoulder issues for several months now. I had it like, I don't know, maybe five years ago now, six years ago maybe, um, where my shoulder would go, like, well, my arm would just go completely numb. <laughs> and when I was hairdressing, I'd like drop my scissors, I'd drop my clippers, like it was horrible. It's a very expensive thing to do. Um... And it would just get all pins and needly and just, it was very uncomfortable. So I had done, I had gone to a chiropractor, I don't know, for like two months or something like that. And that seemed to help and it was perfectly fine. But I don't know, for a few months now, my shoulder's been acting up again. So, and so is my elbow on the same arm. So... Pay the 80 bucks again <laughs> and uh, go in and talk to somebody about it because it's, it's just very annoying. The elbow is extremely painful. And I mean, I clean for a living, so like I, I, <laughs> I need full range of motion 
and uh, you know, for my joints not to be screaming at me. So I have an appointment for August, early August to talk to somebody and whatever. And I don't need a doctor's referral for there, thank goodness. Because they said, like, I don't have a doctor right now. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we don't care. It's fine. <laughs> awesome. So hopefully get that taken care of in August. Start to get that taken care of in August. And, uh, yeah, so we finally went home. In between all that, we did a small grocery shopping. <sighs> Oy, 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 I'm tired. And, uh, yeah, I picked up some, uh, little shrimps. And we're gonna do shrimp linguine tonight. I am excited. I'm so excited. I didn't know either of my children liked shrimp. <laughs> I know Monkey did when he was little, but it had to be, like, the breaded popcorn shrimp. <clears throat> but I didn't know Monkey liked shrimp at all. He was like, yeah, I like shrimp. <laughs> I texted Boo Boo and asked him, and he was like, yeah. So we are doing shrimp linguine tonight, or shrimp alfredo, I guess, actually. But uh, yeah, super excited about that. Let me tell you. Uh, uh. So I just dropped Monkey off at his friend's place. They're going to chill and hang out for a little bit. I told him. I'll pick him up at 5.30 unless they want him out sooner. Then text me and I'll come get you. But I'm hoping 5.30 because I don't want to be in and out of the car. I want to go grab him and then circle back and grab Boo Boo and then come home, make dinner, and not set foot in my car again for the rest of the goddamn day. I'm so sick of my car. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I had to go home in a little bit and fold an insane amount of towels. They should be done by the time I get home. I had one more load to throw, I think, in the dryer. Yeah, I think I threw the last load in the dryer before I left the house this morning. So it should be done. And, uh, yeah, I'll get those folded up. and I have my laundry to put away and the towels to put away. I should have enough time to do some tidy up around the house before I go pick up the boys and stuff. So yeah, it's been a day. In between, I noticed I came home when we brought our groceries home. Um, was it when I brought the groceries home? I don't know. Yeah, when I brought the groceries home. Um, no. No, it was when we came home to get directions for his friend's place. Um, my buddy and his buddy have cleared away all that, um, all the cabinetry and stuff that was against my fence there. <sighs> so on the weekend, I can clean out all the weeds and whatever that have taken over that area. But the, I have two pallets that are still there, skids or whatever you want to call them, wood skids, up against the fence. I don't know why they didn't take them. If they ran out of room or if they thought I wanted them, I have, I don't want them. <laughs> Maybe I'll throw them out on the boulevard. Somebody will take them. I have enough uh, firewood. I don't need any more wood. Go. So, yeah, I'll have to call him and thank him later. Find out how much his buddy wants for gas and whatever. Yeah, it's it's been a day, man. I, I've spent way too much money. <laughs> and I've spent way too much time in my goddamn car. But it was all worth it. Got everything done. <sighs> my, my, my. Oh, cute. There's a couple out here playing catch. Wah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been up to. Good times. Good times. 
<sighs> I think that's it for appointments for a little while. <sighs> Toyota. So, I think this will be another really short video because, yeah, not a whole lot to talk about and I really want out of this car. <laughs> So, <sighs> it is nice out. I should go for a walk. I have other things I need to do, though. I told Monkey I gotta, I gotta get off my lazy ass and start bringing him out for walks and such. That kid does not leave the house unless I grab him and say we're going for a walk. So. I was teasing him the place that we were at for his foot it has like a youth health program or whatever. They got like a whole ass gym in there. I said, I should sign you up for that. <laughs> you should go do that. Do some weightlifting, do some weight training. He's looking at me like absolutely mortified. <laughs> I said, man, like this kid, he's, he's a tank. Okay. Like he's built like a tank this kid like boo boo is tall but he's like a bean pole okay he's about as big as my pinky finger all the way around monkey is tall but he's a brick shit house okay <laughs> if he would get some muscle on him I told him you could pick up your brother and throw him into the next county like holy crap <laughs> he to bulk up bro he was absolutely mortified at the idea. <laughs> He's so funny. I think it's good for him. But anywho, I'm going to bounce. So anybody watching, thank you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and we'll talk later.